Los Angeles is the greatest real estate scheme in the history of humanity. Building this megalopolis 100 miles from the nearest fresh water source was a dicey proposition to start with. It continues to be. And yet, do not bet against human ingenuity. Do what it wants to do. And now, the what we've got here is a landscape where three quarters of its population live where only one quarter or less of the rain actually falls, right? Southern California, as opposed to Northern California. So the whole idea behind California water is getting the water from Northern California to Southern California. And that puts San Francisco, or specifically the San Francisco Bay Delta, in the crosshairs of such an infrastructural proposition. And we are still talking about it to this day. We're still talking about it every day, about how to get all this water from point A, which would be like the Feather River and the Sacramento River, 400 miles south to M municipal applications. But you know what? This is all obfuscation. 80% of California's infrastructural water, meaning all of our storage, all of our impoundments, 80% of that water goes to 3% of our gross domestic product, which is the agricultural sector. Only 3%. But that's where all the almonds and strawberries and all that stuff comes from. It's the breadbasket of California. It's the breadbasket of, of America. It's one of the most agriculturally productive corners of the planet. I'm talking about the San Joaquin and the Sacramento River Valleys. And yet, this, the California Water Project, that's the state water, and the California Aqueduct are really agricultural vehicles. And then when you think about where to, okay, so what's the urban sector then? That other 20, only 20% goes to the people. 40% of that water? Water goes to outdoor landscaping. So we're really only like thinking about 12%. Exactly. Things hey, how like much drinking and showering and laundering. <laughs>